question first. How are you? Hey, I'm pretty good, man. I've had a bit of a long night, but I'm feeling great. Good. Um, for those who have no idea who I'm speaking to, um, could you shortly like introduce yourself and, and like tell a bit about what Rags is about? Yeah, so I'm the singer drummer in Rags, which is a power trio, vintage style, like heavy rock, lots of 70s influences, slightly psychedelic at times, bit jammy live, but also very, very much song based. Um, that's pretty much it. That's my first. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that, 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 I guess that explains the. Uh, most of it already. <laughs> um, okay. Now, this um, this Friday, you're releasing your second album, High Protein. Yeah. Um, compared to your first album, did you do like anything different this time, or did you just stuck with the formula of the first one? We didn't plan anything. We didn't think too much about it. Um, also, the first record was very spontaneous because uh, we only just came into existence, we had a few rehearsals and we just recorded whatever we had. And we basically did the same thing this time. In hindsight, um, it's a bit less jammy because the first album was, it was four short songs and one jam. Now we have eight songs. There are a few jammy passages in the music, but um, there is no instrumental as such. That's probably the big difference, but uh, it's not something that we, uh, consciously decided on so overall like most of this seems to happen all quite spontaneously um i'm guessing that that's the way everything goes with you guys yeah um apparently so we 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 started during a jam session and then um all, almost by accident decided to immediately record something and apparently that's the way it works yeah well, that, get, in the way, get in the way it fits with the with with the style of music. <laughs> I think so. I think so. I think it matches perfectly. That doesn't mean that maybe. I think it also has to do with the fact that we're still a fairly young band, so we're right. kind of uh, we're giving we're giving ourselves the opportunity to discover what suits us. So uh, as we go along and as we see our finished results, maybe we will base the next one on what we like to do differently this time and stuff like that. But it's not a, it's not a really, it's not a formula we agreed on. It's uh, we're making it up as we go along. Uh, you, you already uh, released one song, I believe. Um, yeah. How have, there, have the reactions been on that one so far? They seem to be positive. Um, the song is basically what it is. It's a catchy, it's a catchy song. It's not that big of a surprise, but um, I don't see, I don't see people hating it. I guess, <laughs> and the video is uh, is pretty cool as well. We just uh, it's it's our bass player is the guy who is in charge of the visual stuff. He also designed the cover art, but he pretty much fixed his video. We just filmed ourselves inside. It's it's a lockdown video basically, and he uh, he psyched it up. Mm -hmm. But that's it. So the reactions have been positive. I think. Yeah, that's good. I, I already listened a couple of times to, to your album, um, and well, I very much enjoyed it because uh, it nice. somehow fits for the fits in this this time of the year. Feels very or sounds very summery and and I don't know somehow uplifting and I kind of want to go on a road trip with with that playing uh, full speaker. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, that's that's kind of the vibe I get from it. Um, do you guys like have any any like overall themes going, or just going song by song? Well, uh, no. Um, when it comes to lyrical themes, um, mm -hmm. I'm just uh, getting the hang of this. I'm uh, looking for. I, I've never written lyrics before, so I'm I'm just uh, I'm new to this. Mm -hmm. um, well, what you were saying about about the feel good aspect, actually, to to just uh, come yeah. back to that for a second, I think the main motivation of the, of the three of us to start this band was uh, if we if we had any kind of plan, then the only plan was we wanted to see people dance instead of mushing. 
for instance, or headbanging. So um, if you get that feeling, then that's then we succeeded in that mission. But lyrically, no. Um, whatever uh, whatever comes up. Sometimes I look for a theme. Sometimes the music's always first. Um, yeah. And very often there's just uh, I can I can kind of hear this one line, like mm -hmm. in a chorus, and then I kind of make up. The, the rest of the lyrics around that one sentence, for instance, I think that's uh, yeah. what everybody does when he's still learning this trade. Um, and like for you guys um, to kind of write this kind of music, what what would you say are your like main inspirations musically? When it comes to this band, I think um, we were looking a lot at the classic vintage power trio setup. It was like obviously cream. Yeah. Um, Grand Funk Railroad is a clear influence uh, because of the soul, uh, the soul uh, factor that it has. Yeah. Um, because the power trio often s offers uh, big possibilities in, in, in jamming. I mean, the guitar player can, can get lost while the rhythm section is, keeps it going. There's nobody in each other's way. So um, yeah. I think that format would probably have been the biggest uh, influence when it comes to that. And of course, Pink Floyd's always there. Sometimes when, when you go soft, you go Floyd. That's how it pretty much works. There's, all, there's probably some, some space rock. There's some Hawkwinds when we, when we jam, when we do some space jam sessions live. Yeah. Um, but I'm thinking Cream, Grand Funk, Railroad are two very obvious influences. Yeah, I, I also regularly call um, some blue cheer in, that, in there. Of course. But yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. All, all, all in the same line, of course. It has the, it has the bluesy jam rock thing, so. Yeah. Um, I thought a while ago you you um, supported uh, Monster Magnet. It was been pretty cool. Yeah, that was really cool. We did two shows. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and makes me. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you go ahead. Good to you. <laughs> We're too polite. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it just made, made me wonder if there would be like any any other like artist that that would be like a dream to kind of play with live or possibly like have have as a, a guest on one of your future songs or something like that. What was the last part of the question with the future songs? Um, so either either like a band or an artist you you would love to tour with, or then like a, like have as a guest. Ah, okay, yeah. Ooh, I haven't really thought about that uh, very specifically, to be honest. Um, I may get back to that. Which artists we would like to tour with? Well, all the usual suspects, I would imagine. But I have to say, Monster Magnet was, uh, was a really good match. Um, yeah. I always loved Monster Magnet. They were one of the first... Apart from when I was a teenager, it was it was more like Deep Purple and, and the in the classics. But then yeah. um, after my, after the the, the, the metal fit, one of the first newer stoner bands was definitely Monster Magnet because it, because they were so melodic and because they had such great songs. Uh, and um, to me, this this was a as as I read somewhere in a review, it was a match made in heaven. So uh, we really got along very well. Also personally, um, I think our take is the same. We we both write songs in the first place. But we like to go spacey and jammy with it, so that was that was a great one. Who else? I don't have an answer ready for you. <laughs> I'll let it sink in. Yeah, it's okay. Some, it, it, those kind of questions are, are quite regularly a bit of a um, curveball for a lot of people. I ask. Uh, yeah, yeah. Would you have a suggestion? Who do you see us with, teaming up with? <laughs> Maybe you have a good Dang idea. It. Dang it! So you're throwing the you're throwing the question back. musician or a support <laughs> slot. Uh, I don't know. There's 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 a couple of really really cool bands in in like like Belgium and the Netherlands that maybe like a like a combination tour could be cool. Like like combining with, for instance, um, Black Mirrors that uh, that's quite on the rise now. Oh, yeah, we we did a few shows with them um, together with uh, Vintage Caravan. I think okay, we did well, uh, yeah. three shows yeah. in the Netherlands. Oh, yeah, yeah that's a great, that's a great perfect match right there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, too bad you didn't, you didn't, uh, 
didn't get to join all the way to Finland then. Otherwise, I would have seen you guys. Oh, really? Yeah, it's too bad. Yeah, maybe it'll happen in the future. Yeah. Oh, what also comes up is is some of the. Yeah, obviously, like like the newer retro bands like 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 Graveyard and uh, Cadaver would be awesome to to play with. Yeah. Definitely, that's that's more or less our scene, I, I believe. Yeah. Um, no, no. Well, well, at the moment, sadly, live shows are not happening. <laughs> Um, I'm guessing for exactly. a band like I'm guessing for a band like you guys that that like well for most bands it's it's a bad thing but like music music like yours sounds like feels to me like it needs to be played live. Yeah, it, it, it's definitely it's 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 party music, uh, I would guess. Um, but on the other hand, we're making the best of the situation because. Um, we have a lot of time to, to write music now. I have a I have a phone full of ideas that are waiting to <laughs> waiting to be rehearsed. Of course, we can't rehearse uh, anytime soon because my, my fellow band members live in the, in the Netherlands, so um, we have to wait until the borders are open. But there's a lot of action in the creative department. Definitely, we all have ideas. We're all recording them at home uh, just to have some demos to show each other. And then, yeah. and then the other ones uh, give a new take on it, and uh, so it's not it's not wasted time to be sure. Uh, yeah. That's for sure. I mean, but, something something to look forward then. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, next year. Yeah, your your um, very first show was was even at uh, Roadburn. Yeah. Well, to be honest, we did some tryout shows before that, but um, okay, yeah. was the first uh, the first booked show, actually. Yeah. Uh, that, well, that I, I saw some some pictures pass by or, or like some stuff about it. it. looked looked like you had quite some fun there. <laughs> yeah, it was it was great. Um, well, we we actually met each other through Roadburn. Um, Go figure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think Ron, our guitar player, he's played there about eight times in, 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 in different bands. He's played with the Devil's yeah. Blood, with Astro Sonic, with as a, I think he played with um, uh, one of the guys' names, the like the the the, the, the American black metal uh, psychedelic uh, the, with the black metal albums. You know what? Night. Uh, I, I can't think of it. Yeah, How, he's played, he's played it about eight times. Eight times. Yeah. Uh, we met each other there because we always stayed in Tilburg uh, at uh, BD's place, which was uh, uh, it's our late manager. He passed away like two years ago, but we always stayed in his apartment, um, and that's that's where the three of us met. I mean, Rob and Ron. I mean, the other Rob and Ron already knew each other a long time. I knew Ron through BD, and then I met Rob, and uh, that's where we kind of uh, talked about uh, forming uh, forming a band. So it's really cool that the first show. That the, the big premiere, so to speak, was, was at Roadburn, and it was a great gig. I mean, um, we played at the Hall of Fame, and it was completely packed. People standing in line, we didn't expect it, and the vibe was great. So I couldn't wish for anything more. Okay, well, I, I just wanted to ask, still, like, um, I don't know if there's any like bands of. of I don't know, friends or something like that. You would want to give a like a quick shout out, like, hey, you should check these dudes out. They're pretty cool. Give me a second. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a bit hungover. Um, I should. Oh yeah, of course, Temple Fang. Temple Fang are being awesome. Have you heard them already? Uh, no. They haven't recorded yet. They only play live, but. Um, okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they Im immediately made a made a big, uh, great impression. Um, personally, I'm, I'm I'm I love the new. I mean, I love Molasses, like the the new Devil's Blood, where Ron is also playing it. Mm -hmm. um, if you're into that kind of thing, it's fairly proggy, but it's uh, to me, it's it's not clinically proggy. It's it's soulfully proggy. Okay, yeah. But I think they're gonna release their album somewhere uh, later this year. I love that shit. Um, I need to shout and do a shout out for something in Antwerp. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
That's okay. <laughs> yeah, there's there's so little live activity at the moment that that. Yeah, yeah. Like I saw a band last week or, or anything. <laughs> I have to think way back to the days where where we were still seeing live shows. Yeah, understandable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Anyway, to uh, kind of wrap this up a bit, um, would you want to like send out any last message to fans or people that need to discover you still? Well, if they still need to discover it, I would suggest give it a try. Um, the new album's out. You can, I guess, check it on Spotify. I'm not sure. Probably. Uh, next next Friday. Like it, if you like it, um, I would suggest ordering the beautiful vinyl. <laughs> and I hope we'll be back live, man. I hope we'll be back soon. Yeah. Um, we've got um, we've got a release date. Uh, I mean, like a, a live release show scheduled for September. Mm. Uh, it's, nobody know if it knows if it's gonna happen. So uh, let's just see see what what's uh, what's gonna happen. Yeah, hope for the best. That's all we can do. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for your talk. Lot, lots of luck with um, your um, new release and and well, any upcoming musical stuff. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks for calling. Yeah. No problem. Cheers. Okay.